In this video, we're going to continue talking about probability, but in this um, video, we're going to talk about odds, which is a different way of thinking about games of chance. Um, this is actually the sixth of the series of videos, but I'm going to um, keep this as a standalone. So let's say this. Let's start off with the idea that you're taking a uh, stats class, and you're trying to predict uh, your probability of getting a certain grade, A, B, C, Let's just say that you have three possibilities. You're either going to get an A or B or C. Let's, let's say that you're, you're pretty smart. You're not going to get a D or an F. And let's say here that 50% of the time you're going to get an A, and then 30% of the time you're going to get a B, and 20% of the time you're going to get the C, right? And then the question is, is what's the odds of getting a B? Well, the odds of an event, the odds is just a fraction. See, the odds of event B is simply the number of time B's occurs over the number of times B doesn't occur. So it's very similar to the idea of probability, but it's not exactly the same. Now, here's the key. Uh, and, and why we have odds and probability both is simply a matter of people, when people talk. Sometimes they talk about probability. Sometimes they talk about odds. So the odds of B happening. Let's see when B happens. B happens 30% of the time, so that's 0 0.30. And B doesn't happen 70% of the time. Uh, I'm going to simplify that by multiplying both the top and the bottom by 100, or actually just by 10, and I get the odds are 3 sevenths, or sometimes it's written like this, 3 to 7 or 3 to 7. And that's how we do odds. And this is often used quite a bit when we're looking at, um, um, we're looking at um, games of chance. Horse racing famously is, is like this. So we simply say here the odds are 3 to 7. Let's do another example. Let's say you roll a single die. Let's do roll a die. Right? So you think about the roll a die, the outcomes uh, are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And remember, these are all ELO. This is an ELO problem, right? So let's define an event. Let's define event number one. Event number one would be to roll a number. Uh, larger than four. So you have a simple game of chance. You're betting some money, say, and you're rolling a die, and you win if you get a number bigger than four, and if you lose, you get a, if you get an other, any other number. So you're trying to figure out what your odds are, and that's the way people would talk. They said, what are the odds of winning or losing here? So here, let's say this. The odds of E1 would be the number of times E1 happens over the number of times E1 doesn't. And that would equal to, let's see, the number of times E1 occurs, number bigger than 4, that's 5 and 6, so that's 2. So you could either say 2 out of 6 or 2, it wouldn't matter. Let's do them both ways. And the number of time E1 doesn't occur, well, that would be 4, or 4 out of 6. The reason it doesn't matter if you do it in terms of the total number of outcomes or the probability is because this is an ELO problem. The 6s are going to cancel here anyway. You get 2 fourths or 1 half. So you say the odds are 1 half. You usually don't use it in terms of fractions. You usually say the odds are 1 to 2. We often write like this, 1 to 2. Let's do a sports example because this is used in sports most common. So let's say that the probability that the Oakland Raiders win the Super Bowl is 3%. 
Well, if the probability the Oakland Raiders win the Super Bowl is 3%, that means the probability they don't win will be 97%. And the odds of Oakland winning the Super Bowl will be 0 0.03 over 0 0.97. And I don't have a calculator with me now, but that's a pretty small number. Actually, here's a calculator, so let's use it. So you simply do here, you simply go 0.3 divided by 0.3 divided by 0.97. It's about about 1 to 31. Not exactly, but it's close. Now, just to make things confusing, in math class we say 1 to 31. If you actually go out to the racetrack or you go into a pair of mutual place when you're betting, they actually would say that the odds of Oakland winning, the, the, the odds are 31 to 1. And they just flip it mainly because um, it's easier to say. But in math class, we're going to say it like this, 1 to 31. And that's how you do odds.